Okay, here's the moment of truth. A lot of guys are like, hey, you're going to start that thing before or after you put the hood on. Well, it really didn't matter too much to me whether I was going to start it before or after. Um, the one thing that does matter to me is take that thing, hold on, uh, take it to neutral, and I'll put it in park. Okay, so that would mean that this thing here would be all the way down. Okay. All right, I think I have everything hooked up. I got the oil lines. I got, the only thing that I'm missing is this reverser here. So I'm not gonna move the tractor, but uh, I've checked the oil. You guys were talking about me uh, saying that it's set outside. Well, it had a cab on it, you retards. There's no water gonna go in the thing with a cab on it. There was a hood on it. So anyways, I've already checked the oils. The oils are fine. As a matter of fact, I changed the engine oil before it burned. But we're gonna start it up and we're gonna see what happens. So I guess the best angle to be would be at the front. And Mr. Tim, would you do the honors of starting the 44 or the 4960? Let her rip. Doesn't sound good. It's the valves stuck. Nah, valves ain't stuck. Oh, got a little smoke. All right, hold on. We're gonna give her a little snort of crack. I want to kind of like to see her start up, but where is that? Here it is. Now it's got two brand new batteries in it. It'll it'll fire. You ready? Hit it. Yeah, do it again. It doesn't have enough fuel. All right, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to do a couple of things here. There's always something that needs to be done, Tim. All right. Oh, I'm surprised. I thought you'd fire it. Okay, so I had a little bit of a setback here. It's just a little setback. Let me uh, widen my lightage out here a little bit. Ah! He's trying to fall over. So, anyways, my setback is right in this area. It's called an injector pump. That injector pump is bad. Um, what happened was, when the tractor burned, it burned this and it burnt that fuel filter. And when it did that, it burned them both, the top and the bottom. What it did was it took the rubber out of it. Well, when it took that rubber out of there, ooh, when it took that rubber out of there, it allowed the fuel to drain out of the injector pump. And what has happened since is the fuel drains out of the injector pump and then condensation moisture gets in there and it seized every single one of these pistons on the injection pump. Uh, everything works as far as the uh, uh, the mechanics of it except for the pistons. There's spring-loaded little gizmos inside there and they create about 2,500 pounds of pressure each that goes to the injection nozzle and that's what forces open the injection nozzle causing the spray, causing it to fire and run. So, uh, with that being said, that injector, it, injection pump is, is junk. So I'm gonna have to buy a new one. I've been looking online and there's somewheres in the range of a couple of thousand dollars. So I actually saw, just saw a drip of oil come off of that thing. It's probably just engine oil because I don't think I got it completely tightened up. But, oh no, I, don't I didn't tighten it up at all. So, yeah, the, uh, I took the, uh, that plate off, so any of you guys that want to turn your fuel pumps up and create insane horsepower, take that plate off of there. Get to fucking around in there. there. Your idle screw is low, your governor is high. Just a little tip there. When you start doing stuff like that, though, it's a race car mentality. <laughs> As Desperado would say, it's uh, a race car mentality. The hotter you make the motor, 
the more likely other things are to fail and you have to beef those up. So just with that in mind, if you turn it up, you're going to have other problems. So anyhow, so that's, that's why the tractor is not running. But anyways, what I'm going to do is to finish up the uh, hood and I'm going to put the hood and the side screens on today just for shits and giggles because, you know, for the most part, um, it is Saturday, so I can't do anything else other than do some cleanup in here, which I desperately need to do because the floor is just littered with stuff. Um, I'm alone today. Timothy has taken it upon himself to go do something else, which, you know, is within his right. Um, I support that for some of you people out there that think I'm a horrible father. All right, I hope you can see that. I don't know. I think you can. Let me jack you up a bit. There. I know how to do it. All right, so I'm sitting on my ass. You caught me. Ugh. What I'm doing is replacing this light bar. A lot of people don't realize how much light these things actually produce. <laughs> step back here um, even though this tractor is not moving under its own power there it sets kind of looks like it's supposed to uh, you know really if it was for, wasn't for that injector pump I'd be driving it out of here today uh, it's just a few small things that need to be done some painting and stuff like that oh, I'll climb up here on the sprayer that it's gonna be pulling and uh, get a higher view of it uh, but there there it is so I've got my I've got my hood screens on, the hood is on. I still have to put the window in and that's that's just laying over there uh, in front of the other tractor there. Um, but yeah, there it is. Uh, welcome to John Deere 101. Uh, if you like what I do, watch me. If you don't like what I do, please don't watch what I do. I don't want you. Um, I'm not. I'm not doing this to be criticized. I'm doing this so that people that don't know what they're talking about can actually learn something and actually live uh, enjoying, you know, look forward to something. You know, and I can say this about a lot of things. I know there's people out there that have nothing in their life. I have something. I've worked hard for it. Um, sometimes I've worked too hard. Uh, but I have it because I work for it. There's a lot of jealous people out there that are, are quick to criticize uh, and call names. I'm not going to say who you are because I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of knowing that you are actually bothering me. Um, but you know who you are. So if you continue, I'm just going to block you anyway. But I started YouTube so that ordinary people... I really didn't expect the farming community to actually like what I do for the simple reason is because they're doing it too. Uh, I actually started it so ordinary city folk, town folk, um, country living folk could actually see what it's like to actually run a farm and maybe be successful at it. Uh, I'm trying to be successful. Uh, I do okay and this thing is going to take forever to focus. I do okay. Um, but you know it's projects like this that I think a lot of people are really looking forward to seeing and, and I enjoy doing them. I, I take the time to make these videos so that you can see them. Uh, if you if you got negative comments, please keep them to yourself. I really don't enjoy having to uh, read them. You know, you, you make comments about my kids. 
Uh, you make comments about me. I don't block you. I, I don't. It's, I've only ever blocked one person uh, within the week because, you know, this is just like, uh, I could compare this to something that, you know, might fall into the, uh, into what I was accused of being the other day. And uh, you can, you can, you, I'm going to compare this to a woman. Yeah, a woman. This 4960 is like the most beautiful tractor that John Deere ever produced. In my opinion, I really like it. A lot of guys say that the Soundguard cab was, you know, was a piece of junk. Well, it wasn't. In, in its day, back in 1972, when they came out with the Soundguard body, uh, this was the best cab that John Deere had produced up to date. As a matter of fact, it was the best cab that anybody had produced to this date, which really accelerated John Deere into the uh, into the, uh, the 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 position that they're in still today as being number one in tractor sales. Uh, you IH guys, I'm sorry, uh, John Deere holds the market. I can tell you that Case New Holland holds only 24 percent of the uh, the market in the in North America uh, as, as far as tractor sales. But anyways, the Soundguard body. It is, it is like the sweetest thing. Uh, it is noisy in there compared to other tractors of the day, saying uh, 1994 Case Magnum, much roomier, much quieter, much more view of a cab. John Deere waited too long before they came out with the, uh, the, uh, the new cab design. So with that being said, I can say that this is like a really sexy woman. Now, when you're in love, or think you're in love, or in lust, as I can say, uh, you look at this 4960 and you're like, God, I gotta have that, you know, and you work really hard, you know, like this tractor. I didn't want to scrap it. I, I, ha I was in love with this tractor. This is the first four-wheel drive tractor that I bought, and I love it. I just love it to death, and I couldn't part with her. Uh, so I worked really hard to save up enough money and to be in a position where I can actually restore this thing. I don't borrow money to do projects like this. I actually have this. This is out-of-pocket money. Uh, I take it out of my pocket, I hand it to John Deere, and I buy the parts that are necessary. So, as this tractor sits here, I'm a little bit disappointed. It's like a setback, like when you ask this beautiful woman out on a date, and she says, well, you know, I kind of have a boyfriend already. Well, this one here is like, well, I kind of still have a problem, Wes. I, I can't start yet, you know? So, it, that's how I feel about this thing. Um, it's going to take more time. It's going to take more energy, it's going to take more effort, and it's obviously going to take more money. Now, the tractor is, uh, it's close. <laughs> it's like, well, I've still got this boyfriend, but I'm going to break up, and I really like you, so I want to do it right. So, this is exactly how I'm dealing with this tractor. Just like you would deal with a, uh, a nice young lady that you saw, and you, you really want to date her, but, you know... She has to do the right thing. I have to do the right thing. She's broke. She can't start yet. I'm broke. I can't fix it right yet. So a little more time. Next week. I'm hoping next week. So with that in my closing arguments with the 4960, I'm sorry she isn't running, but she's going to be running. And yes, when it's done, she'll be all new inside. She'll be functioning uh, completely. I don't have any oil leaks, I can tell you that, because the... Uh, the, uh, I've cranked that engine over and I do have some hydraulic pressure, but no oil leaks because it is, uh, it, it's been done right so far. I've taken the time to make everything work. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed my commentary. I really hope you are enjoying this series. And if you're not enjoying the series and you're only watching it just to criticize me and my family, well, you can suck my 